All right, what's going on guys? Dan here with Nissan Marine. Thanks for tuning in to another how-to video. Um, today we wanna to talk about the simple steps of how to um, clean out your water strainer in your Mastercraft. So you might be wondering, when are times that I might need to do this when I'm out on the water? So the two things that kind of come up to me is, um, one, you might get alerted on your screen that you're, um, that things are overheating. There's a good chance that you probably have some, some weed or some gunk stuck in your water strainer. And number two, as the summer rolls on and the water gets hotter, you'll find that the sediment and kind of the gunk and the weeds from the bottom tend to kind of float to the top. If you're on the water late in the summer, you'll see it just kind of has that kind of a little bit of a nastier layer on the surface. Those things are getting stuck in your filter. So that's a good time to check it, even if you're not being notified. So without further ado, let's hop into this and I'll kind of show you step by step how to do it. All right, so first things first, we got to get um, into the engine. So to expose the engine, you go ahead and flip your seat here. Start on the captain's side, and I'll show you the important reasons why we start on which side um, when we close it after I show you here. With these little latches that you're probably aware of. Now that the engine's exposed, um, I'll have the camera kind of get down in here. We have these little bungee latches that are holding this wall right here in place. So I release that one. I think this one's already released. Yep. Go ahead and lift this up here. And you're gonna take this whole wall out. It comes out super nice and easy. Find a good spot to put that. All right, and I'll have the camera come down and I can kind of show you. So you'll notice how the water strainer is just sitting there front and center. It's got a clear cup, so you'll probably see if something's in there. Um, that will have a little bit of water in it, but so first steps is you go ahead and just unscrew this. And as you unscrew this, if a little bit of water kind of falls out, it's not a big deal at all. Go ahead, and, go ahead and pull this out here. It's okay if that drops too. So this is your strainer. So there's two parts to your water strainer right here. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this, and this is where it's gonna probably have the weeds on it. Very important that as you empty this cup, there's a little ring on top here. You don't wanna lose that little o-ring go ahead and empty that clean off the weeds and you're good to put it right back in place so I'm gonna get back down here so that is back in place go ahead and put this on here you want to make sure that as you tighten this that it is all the threads are lined up if you're able to spin it I've been told about eight times and you know you got a good seal. And once that's back in place, just like that, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. All right, so now that that's back in place, remember we have those bungee straps. I'm just gonna quick get those on. Strap this here. Now, before you close this, this is the important part I wanna tell you. So there is a piece, a little metal piece that sticks out over here, I'll have the camera come. Make sure you close the engine compartment first. Because if you don't, that little piece, if you close the side first, that little piece is gonna come down and get this final. So engine compartment first, go ahead and close the sides. And just like that, you're ready to get back on the water and enjoy your day. So thanks for tuning in. We got a couple more of these coming, so keep watching.